So today I found a perfect example of why you always should check your cam timing when you install a camshaft. So stay tuned and we're going to get into it. So the customer had contacted us with, it's like a drag boat deal or V-Drive. <clears throat> and they already had an existing cam, but it, it's real lazy down low. So they wanted, to, you know, a new cam spec to try to, make it be more responsive down low. So they filled out a cam recommendation form, all that stuff. And they put their current specs on the sheet, right? So we spec them a cam and, and the cam they had is just, and I see this all the time. It's just way too big. I mean, it's, it's like 20 something degrees too big on the intake. And <clears throat> you know, the motors are relatively small. It's only 438 inches and the head flows pretty good. I mean, it's got a real head on it. So as the solar head gets, you know, better, we just need less. The valve needs to be open less time to feed the demand, right? And if you keep it open longer than required, then there's no positive, it's just negatives, right? So just holding the valve open for longer it just, it, it, it goes downhill, right? It's just downhill from there. So you would always be better to have more cylinder head, less cam than try to do it the other way around because it just don't ever work. But anyway, so the, the current specs were like 278, 278. So, you know, there you go again. It's another straight pattern cam, kind of cheesy. And I run it in the cam doctor. And it looks like exhaust lobes on both sides. The lobes are super slow. Uh, it's supposed to be on 108 lobe separation with a 107 intake center line. Uh, so I, I chunked it in the grinder. I should have checked it first because usually I run them first in the cam doctor just to verify everything. But I was trying to, we're trying to get all this regrind stuff done and out of here. So I chunked it in the grinder and swept it in. And the math wouldn't math it. And I'm like, man, something ain't right. So, uh, you know, we got a system, so we know where the intake center line is. So I swept it in, and it come up to 112 intake center line. And it's supposed to be 107 intake center line. So, I mean, we, we five degrees wrong. And I know my system is good, but anyway, you just constantly doubt yourself, right? So you're like, we got to double ver verify this thing. So I come over here, chuck it in the uh, cam doctor and run a pair of lobes to verify the lobe separation and it come out 109 instead of 108. So then the way we verify the intake center line on all these cams is we can run, and I'll put a picture up here, we can run the number one, uh, while well, the big block we do the number one exhaust, but everything else we do the number one intake. But for all intents and purposes, we run the number one intake and run the dial pin as a lobe. And we can find the center line between the dial pin and the number one intake lobe. And then we have drawing dimensions th that we know where the pin needs to be for X intake center line. So of course I ran it and it checked exactly what the grinder said. So the intake center line is off the wrong direction, five degrees. And the lobe separation is off. The, the duration and all is good, but this really, expl I mean, it, it, the cam's too big already, but the intake center line being retarded that much, it, plus a big cam, no wonder it was a turd, right? So that's just another reason that you should always check this stuff because everybody, including me, can make a mistake. And, uh, and, and, and it might not even be a mistake. It might just be like not a, a, a accidental mistake. It might be we just read the information wrong and we put it where we, we thought it was supposed to be, but there was some miscommunication or whatever. We had a small block come in here brand new and the guy's like i can't get it to i can't get it to work you know i can't get it to come out so we checked it and it was supposed to be plus four and it was actually minus four 
So it was eight degrees wrong. And luckily, <laughs> we got him a nine QA timing set. It was able to get the intake center line where it needed to be. But, you know, we had to move it eight degrees. And uh, so, you know, I mean, again, just I don't know how that happens to, to get it the wrong direction, but obviously it happens more than uh, you probably think. So, again, just check that stuff. Um, I, spe- I know in the car it's aggravating to try to degree a cam, but it, I would rather spend the extra hour or two fighting it and degree it and get it done and know we right then you end up with a situation like this where, you know, it's just a mess. And then you could have, you could have seen the problem straight away. And, you know, here we are. But, but like I say, I just, that was a quick little deal. I just seen that and I thought it would be a good reminder that the world ain't perfect and, you know, stuff does happen. And this is just a perfect example of it. So uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to just grind it and he's going to have to work it out with the time and say it, or if he's going to want to just start with a brand new cam. I, I don't know yet. I sent him an email. We hadn't heard back, but, uh, but you know, I mean, it, again, the problem is solvable with a, what an adjustable time and say it, you know, so it's not the end of the world. It's just, you got to be aware of that stuff. All right. Thank y'all so much. See you on the next one.